okay in here. So now we need to do a bit of content creation. And let's drop that here. Okay, and at the moment we have a male character here, which is okay if we um, want to test out our armor piece. But I want to test the new female thingy, so we need to change this to female. So I need to go into the code and change all the this here to female. Yay! Okay. <laughs> yeah, sadly it doesn't work that way. Um, would be awesome if I just uh, if I were able to just use them create a model and use it for m male female whatever um, but it doesn't work that way sadly The problem with the system is that um, they ch they have um, um, some kind of they call it race um, and that's how they um, distinguish between different um, 
different skeletons and completely different figures in um, in terms of their bones and stuff like that and the female character uses different bone different bone set than the male character so it's a different race basically which is a bit strange but if you understand that it's the the different bone structure then it makes sense here we should get a female character yes and there we have a female character and let's click uh, okay that was wrong yeah okay I remember uh, um, she doesn't have a t-shirt overlay um, yeah <laughs> but the, the funny thing is that the um, the male character also has breast bones but not um, so pronounced and stuff like that yes at some some point I need to create a better script where I can just switch be between them by clicking a button but at the moment I'm yeah not really lazy but uh, kind of stupid in that regard and yes short hair let's change the color to something strange And let's make this a bit bigger. And let's change this to white. And let's have a look. And we couldn't find that. Oh, yes. I created the slots and the overlay, but I didn't connect them correctly. So let's do that. Otherwise, we can't use all that stuff. Um, where was it? Did I put that in models? Yes. Let's check this, and it should be here. Yep. Yeah. That is, but you can't see it. But it's it's there. Believe me, it's. I checked. It's there. It should be fine. Um, okay, let's throw that there. And this is here. The last one. Can barely see it. Okay, now we should be able to. One other thing I want to change because it will annoy me. Um, I'm starting out with black for the... for the trench coat here, which is kind of wrong. At some point I had some kind of trench coat in there, but um, doesn't really work that well. Um, let's change this to white. So. I don't have to do that. 
in game. So now we should be able to see it. I hope. Okay, we couldn't find that. So at some point I... maybe the name is wrong. So let's go into our slots here and have a look. How did I name that? Oh, it's called female dress top, not female leather top. Here yeah, I need to get the names right. At least for this test system here. And we also need to change something else. Um, here we need to add that in slot uh, 8, I think. Yeah, seven is the here, eight is the. Oh, I think okay. Okay. Now we should be set. I hope. That's still black. Didn't I save that? Uh, okay. So I saved that. Oh, it must be. Yeah, okay. It's black in here. Let's change that in here. Okay. There's something else not set up correctly. Uh, this is set up. I think the the overlay is not set up correctly. Yes, here we need to set the material. And you might diffuse metallic. Okay. Finally, please be nice to me. Come on. Okay, we don't have the right number of channels. Yep, okay, that makes sense because this one was created as a legacy. So now it should be. Right, and click on this, and there we go. Our piece of clothing is in here. Yay! Awesome. And if we go to the humor and scroll down here, we should be able to resize that. 